Hello everybody and welcome to 10 Minute Nodes, a guide to the visual scripting tool for space engineers. Today we're going to look at the visual scripting tool setup as well as setting up folders to release your scripts as mods. Alright, so let's start out with setting up the visual scripting tool. First, you'll have to navigate to your space engineers folder on your PC. If your computer is set up normally, it should be under local disk C, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and space engineers. You should see a folder setup similar to what I'm seeing here. Now, once you've arrived here, double click on the tools folder. Then, double click on the vRage editor folder. In here, you should see four Windows batch files. Ignore the shortcut for now. Now, you should see one called Visual Scripting. What I want you to do is select it, but don't open it. Right click it and click Create Shortcut, and it'll place a shortcut in that folder. Now, you can leave the name as normal, or you can change it to VST, as you can see I have already. Now what I want you to do with this shortcut is click and drag it onto your desktop. This will make it easier and faster to access the Visual Scripting tool when you need to. Now that that has been finished, double click on your new shortcut. When you first open the tool, you shouldn't see any of these screens, and if you do, then your tool may already be set up. However, if your tool isn't set up, here's how to set it up. Make sure that you have the vRidge Tools tab selected at the top in case there are other tabs. Select Plugins, and make sure the Visual Scripting Tool plugin has a checkbox next to it. If there is no checkmark, select it, and give it a few seconds because it will probably pause your computer as it loads. Once there is a checkmark visible, you can close out of there. Next, you're going to want to go to Settings. In here, you can see that it will ask for your game content path. If this isn't already filled out, select it, and then over on the right, select the three little dots. This will allow you to go through your computer and define where your content folder is for Space Engineers. On a typical PC, it should be in Local Disk C, Program Files Times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Space Engineers. And as you can see here, there's one called Content. Make sure the Content folder is selected and click OK. Once you do that, close this and close out of your Visual Scripting tool. Now, open the Visual Scripting tool via your shortcut again. and you should see something similar to here. Now, if you don't see all of these windows, or if they're not in the exact same position, that's okay. Very quickly, go back over to the vRage tools and make sure all of these windows have a checkbox next to them. Some of them may not show up. Just simply uncheck them and recheck them again, and then they should show. And then after that is finished, go back over to the Visual Scripting tab, and you are done. And that is how you set up the Visual Scripting tool. All right. Let's quickly set up our save folders so we can save our visual scripts. First, navigate to your Space Engineers directory on your computer. Then, open the content folder. Once in there, open your visual scripts folder. You should see five folders named Arena Escort, Dead Drop Arena, Generic, Library, and Station 419. Right click and create a new folder. Name this folder something unique. This will prevent it from interacting with any other mods that are downloaded. In this case, I've already named one VST underscore examples. This is all you need to do to set up a save folder for your visual scripts. However, keep in mind, once you have multiple visual scripts that have multiple different reference scripts, you may want to think of organizing your folder. If we take a quick look into my folder, you can see that I have six different main file folders and then a generic folder for script pieces that are used across multiple scripts. This will come in handy later when you have lots and lots of scripts, and is also very important to keep in mind when setting this up so you can export it as a mod. And that is all you have to do for right now to set up your save folder. For the purposes of setting up a mod folder, we will talk about that in a later video. And that concludes this tutorial video. Next time, we'll be talking about different windows in the Visual Scripting tool, along with the different nodes and what their purpose is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.